Are you struggling to find a high performance fan which can also be quiet as well? Well, this fan from Arctic can go all the way up to 3,300 RPM, but it can also go as slow as 200 RPM if needs be, and it even has a zero decibel mode where it basically turns itself off when it doesn't need to run. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you, strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry, where you can go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. Then what's more, you'll get that for a quid. Tech Max 2023 will be on the 23rd of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This event will be over four times larger than last year's event, and this year's event will incorporate a live tech awards, dedicated meeting rooms, demo and interactive areas, and up to 800 other techs just like you. Get registered now at tftmax.com. First, let's talk about the packaging. The P12 Max arrived in the standard Arctic theme for non-RGB products, featuring a mixture of dark and light blue. On the front, there's a picture of the product, along with information about the six-year warranty and the zero decibel mode when running at less than 5% PWM power. On the back of the box, I found two QR codes, one for the manual and another for support and feedback. All the main specifications are also listed here. It's also worth noting Arctic is a carbon neutral company, which is a great plus for the environmentally conscious buyers like myself. Inside the box, I found the fan itself and four black fan screws in a plastic bag. I appreciated the lack of unnecessary extras like paper manuals, which reduces waste and clutter. Now, before we get on to testing, let's have a look at the fan itself. So the P12 Max is mainly a black fan with gray corners that are rubberized, which should help eliminate vibrations. There are five large sweeping blades on the fan. On the outside of the fan, its blades are supported by a fixed ring that is attached directly to the blades. This design not only helps with airflow, but also strengthens the blades and increases stabilization. Due to this ring, it also eliminates the gap between the edge of the blades and the fan frame. There is also a minimal gap between the outer ring of the fan frame, which helps improve airflow even further. The only minor issue I encountered was that one of the fans out of the three what we got sent, the actual sticker on the middle of the fan is slightly off center and wasn't easy to remove and reapply, which means when spinning, it may look like it's wobbling if you can see it in your case. However, this didn't affect the fan's performance in any of the testing. The cable length is generous at 40 centimeters and it's a flat black cable, which made the cable management a breeze in my setup. One of the most impressive features of the P12 Max during my testing was its wide speed range. The fan can operate at speeds as low as 200 RPM for quiet operation and go all the way up to a whopping 3300 RPM when you need maximum cooling performance. The P12 Max is all about maximum performance without compromise. Based on my testing, its focused airflow and high static pressure makes it perfect for use on radiators and heat sinks. If you're an enthusiast or professional who demands top-notch performance and longevity, this fan is a great choice. One of the coolest features of the P12 Max is its zero decibel mode, which allows the fan speed to be throttled down to a complete standstill via PWM. This meant I could enjoy silent operation during idle times, while still getting maximum performance when it was needed. So down to testing. So we've tested this on the same machine. All tests are on the same machine. The temperature in the room is monitored and is constantly at 21.5 degrees Celsius. And the decibel levels are monitored as well in testing. Now, during the testing, we tested this on an Intel 13700K processor, which is quite a hot processor on a Z690 motherboard. Now the cooler what we've chosen was the Arctic Freezer 2 or Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 should I say which is a water cooler it's 360 millimeters so it's got three 120 fans on so what we did was tested the original P12 fans what came on that water cooler and then also swapped them out for the new P12 Max fans 
to see what sort of difference we got in the test, and this is what happened. So in this first test, we are testing the temperature with the fans running at 50% speed, and this is the average temperature over 30 minutes, and we also run all the tests three times and get the averages from those. Now, as you can see here, the Arctic P12, the max ones, which is the new ones we're testing today, come in roughly four degrees cooler, or cool the CPU four degrees cooler than the original P12 fans. Bear in mind, the Arctic P12 Max running at half speed runs at roughly the same speed as the standard P12 running at full speed. So in this test, we're doing basically the same thing again, but we're actually checking to see what the maximum temperature it goes up to while the fans are running at 50% speed. And here you can see there is a 6 degree difference. So instead of 70 degrees, you're getting at 64. Now one thing to bear in mind is when this is happening, the actual fans are running roughly twice as fast on the P12, even though it's only going at 50% at its speed because the maximum speed is a lot higher. So in this test, it's basically the same as the previous ones, but this time what we're doing is actually setting the fans at 100% speed. So they're working flat out. So you can actually see how they would perform if they were having to work completely flat out. And again, this is the average temperature running at 100%. And as you can see here, there's a roughly a four degree difference. Bear in mind, the P12 Max runs at roughly a net testing while connected to a radiator, 2,880. 80 rpm compared to roughly around about 1800 rpm on the standard fan so in this test here it's again the same thing but we're looking at the maximum temperature it got to again while the fan was running at 100 percent speed so as you can see here five degrees difference again we're seeing a sort of a trend four five six degrees difference between all the testing which uh, well is pretty good to be honest with you especially for an upgrade now on to sound tests so in the sound testing we did see a bit of a difference so as you can see the p12 came in at three decibels above the room ambient decibel level where the p12 max came in at 10 so it's quite a bit louder this was with with the fans running at 50 percent speed Obviously, 50% speed for both of the fans is slightly different, where 50% speed on the P12 is roughly around about 8900 RPM, but for the P12 Max, it's 1800 RPM. Same test again, but running them at 100% speed, and again, you've got 10 decibels against 20 decibels, so there is a big difference yet again. Bear in mind, we are running three fans at once on a water cooler, so that will make a bit of a difference, but bear in mind, the P12 Max is running a lot faster. Instead of 1800 RPM, it's running, but according to Arctic, 3300. As I said, we found it was closer to 2850 to 2900 while it was attached to a radiator. And that's my hands on experience with the Arctic P12 Max. If you're in the market for a high performance, versatile, and quiet fan, this could be the perfect addition to your cooling setup based on my tests. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.